What's going on, gents? Hello, Uncle. So, Yamaha has launched two focused, game-changing, class-leading products. The FG25, the FG25, and the Yamaha R15 version 3. I will tell you guys all about them, their mileage, their top speed, what they are intending to do and what they can do, what they will do, how they fare against their competition. Everything will be told today. So let's talk about the Yamaha R15 version 3 first, alright? See, in one sentence, it's a proper, proper track screamer. It's the best track tool there is. For learners at least. Or you can say sub 250cc category. Yes, I am saying sub 250cc. Believe it or not, this bike will kick some serious 200cc ass and even 250cc ass, man. What has improved? Okay, let's see what has improved over the version 2. First, they have increase the cc's it's now 155.2 cc's now so 5 point something more cc's the power is 20.3 bhp at the 10,000 rpm let me tell you guys this this 10,000 rpm number is game changing i will explain why but let's just go to the improvements first all right they are giving upside down forks, the proper race spec suspension on the front. Builder box frame which we all loved in the version 1 and version 2 is coming to version 3. Even R1, even the R3 doesn't have a filter box frame. So that's a proper racing chassis man, alright. And to top it all off, the best of the best set, they have reduced the wheelbase by 20 mm. Damn man, damn. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> the wheelbase is even shorter than the R15 version 1. The R15 version 3 will be the most flickable, the most agile, the most sharp handling bike ever. I'm saying ever. talking cold hard facts here none of the speculative bullshit no speculations and couple in the fact that they haven't sacrificed the torque that much the torque is less by 0.3 so it's 14.7 nm now but that's more than enough for city riding for a single rider for a light rider and also it hasn't increased any weight so it's light as is man so that's a use use plus we have a proper proper focus track screamer now i would love to rip that engine at past 10k so basically what every company does is they provide a bike and that bike wants to be a jack of all trades you know there is no specialization like for example a CBR 150 that engine is hell of a smoker top end blast but the sitting position the sassy the, the rake and trail it's conservative so it's not a soft handler you see so <laughs> in the R15 V3 we have the surface handling the most potent top end motor Brilliant, brilliant power delivery. It's going to be awesome. Since it's a 150cc only and if you ride it uh, at a leisurely pace and also it's FI so there got to be a limiter. And I really hope the limiter is not a 10k. The limiter is a 12k or even above man because the Tago shows it refs till 13k. So yeah, expect a few efficiency of 
uh, 40 to 45. No big deal. And if you will rip continuously, like pinned all the way down all the time, always maybe in the power bank. Still you will get 35. 35 here is easy man. And the biggest factor for you guys, and it's also a factor for me but I don't uh, decide on the looks. I don't fret on the looks much but man it's a looker. Complete overall. The R1M, the R6 inspired LEDs. system for accessing the top speed of any bike just by the spec seat and if the sixth gear is not limited that is if the limiter is not at 10k the limiter if the bike can rev to 12k r15 version 3 will have a top speed of 160 km per hour it has the potential you see I will explain to you guys later how my system works but trust me on this 160 plus is game on this bike if they don't limit the rev that is you know but even with the rev limiter 155 will come easy easy what it has 2.5 more bhps it makes it power at 1500 rpm more so that's a huge use plus you know more power up top means tons of top speed potential